Adrian Martinez, very much a defensive player. Very strong in the backcourt, Agustin Losser, very experienced player. And only 21 years old, Bruno Lima, he's coming out. And he'll be joined by Ezequiel Palacios. Marcelo Mendes has basically started as strong a group as he has with Santiago Danani coming in as the Libero as well. These guys have got a lot of experience playing in the Volleyball Nations League, that elite level competition. So whilst there's not a lot of depth on the bench, that's a starting squad that's pretty good. Speaking of pretty good, take a look at this lineup. Michael Richardson leading up Matt Anderson. Aaron Russell. Jeff Jendrick. Max Holt coming out, the veteran middle blocker. And Garrett Margututia with Eric Shoji as the libero. All you need to know about this group is they all played in the Volleyball Nations League this year. They all won a silver medal. John Sparro has sent out a very, very strong group of starters out of a very, very strong squad of players. And you would think that this squad here should be good enough to definitely be amongst the medals. And they close the book on the men's World Cup in about two and a half weeks' time. So it's a tough start, this, for Argentina. serve at this level if you play it safe on serve the serve will come back at you and if you can serve as well as that you're probably going to win a lot of points Ezequiel Palacios couldn't have played that first one any better he'll go for another big aggressive one that gets picked up by Shoji and Russell swinging through there a little bit of footwork there from Santiago Danani completely legal of course kept it alive Brilliant again, that is amazing defending from Argentina. Well, they can't keep doing it. And eventually, the United States driving through. Well, that's absolutely wonderful stuff from Santiago Donani. That's highlight real stuff right there. But in the end, the pipe attack coming through. From Marco Tutu here. Anderson was stretching a little bit. Wonderful bit of blocking there. That is good stuff. Well, they set him up nicely there. But uh, Russell was just blocked out of it by the gang of three, featuring Losser and Lima. The net serve from Losser. Still only 21, Agustin Losser, although he'll have his second birthday when he's in Japan. 22nd birthday when he's in Japan. Micah Christensen. A 26 year old who's won everything. Nice early take there from Ramos. Picked up defensively. Both teams. Really got the, uh, the defense is sorted out. And yeah, Martinez driving through there. Well, he may be a strong defensive player, Jan Martinez, but he knows how to hit. Eric Shoji, of course, is an outstanding defensive player, and Martinez showing what he brings to the party. With a really narrow angle there. A massive wind up there from Bruno Lima, but straight into the net.
So it's Russell. <laughs> and, uh, Aaron Russell needs to retune the bomb sights. That must have been eight, nine, ten meters beyond the baseline. Oh, it was a wild one. Martinez. Nice take. Rising really high there. Putting that one away. Jendrick. Good elevation on this one. Really good serve. Perfect take there. And off the quick set. Jendrick drilled it. Soft serve there, got exactly what it deserved. Oh, Jendrick's serve isn't going to be troubling the Argentinian receivers. As Ramos does to America what Jendrick just did to Argentina. Taking it high. If you get above the blockers, you should secure the point. Ramos doing exactly that. Real big aggressive serving coming in still. Nothing more in there. For the blockers. The market to Tutia. Ripping that one. Yeah, it took a touch, showed you had to pick that up. Just a little push available there, nothing else for the Americans, they'll rip it back side. But now the Americans can transition out and done. That's the definition of transition play right there. Defending, and then when the opportunity came along, immediately switching up the tempo, driving it through blockers who couldn't get together, Aaron Russell nailing that one. He flew to nice, almost. Picked up by Anderson. Nora Cattuzio couldn't get a winner, but Argentina couldn't get it under control. So Marcelo Mendes sees his team slip behind. And the veteran. <laughs> Don't you just hate that when that happens? The big breakdown where everybody waits to see who's going to take the next touch. And nobody does, so the veteran 31-year-old is uh, making his presence felt here in this first set. No stop in that one. The youngster, Agustin Losser. Well, the improvement in Agustin Losser year on year is there for all to see. He picked up some important experience a year ago in Bulgaria in the World Championship. And I think all these coaches have uh, sent out a blend of youth and experience in Japan. That's an absolute sizzler. Well, they're back on track right here. Sanchez really unloading. Well, it's a chance for coaches to assess some of their squad players ahead of an Olympic year next year. Both these teams have already qualified. Rubs one off the block. It's kept alive, and then once again, it's uh, Murga Tututia coming up with the win, and that'll take us to the first technical timeout. Serves. Yeah. That's what they've done so far. So just keep battling those tough serves. 
playing good rally. Yeah. 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 One, two, three. Do yeah. it. Mugatutia with serve. Oh, the block tried to come in there, but Bruno Lina was too good for it. Marcelo Mendes completing a year in charge of the Argentina national squad really has got them playing in his style now. Ball toss here. Russell. Yeah. Again, the blocking was uh, given a chance there because of the quality of the serve absolutely sizzled in. So here they are, three of them getting set. Take your pick, Losser or Lima. One of them got it. Argentina got the point. With Martinez hanging around making a nuisance of himself as well. No way through there for Russell. So Palacios. Absolutely drills another beauty. Wow, Ezekiel Palacios is making a very early push for best server of the competition. John Spiro wants to challenge that. In real time, it looked a good call. Spiro not 100% convinced. Either that or he just wants to try and break Argentinian momentum without burning a timeout. Yeah, looked a good call. That's worth a look when it's that close. So this is quite a turnaround then. Off the technical timeout and it's all sparked by Palacios. And they'll be very glad that he netted. Feet there, Ezekiel Palacios, and he's guilty of treading on that line. You touch that line, um, here he comes. There's the front foot, and it's all over the line. Easy call for the officials, and a missed opportunity for Argentina. So Holt stays on. Bernardi's got under that. Losse with no play available. Anderson, nicely taken on the baseline. Martinez runs into a containing block. But they'll get it back here, Argentina. Oh, Martinez, brilliant bit of improvisation there. Oh, that's really impressive stuff from the youngster. 21 years old and a really good all-rounder, Jan Martinez. But look at this. Lovely stuff. Sanchez, all he had to do was execute. Oh, a powerful serve. Oh, 
Russell rubs one off the block. Is Russell serving at 12.13. No, no, just get a play available here, and they do. That's really nicely taken. Decided to uh, be aggressive there, Russell, and it was absolutely the right decision. Saving dig there, and could have gone contained. Decided no. That's not going to work. Rubbing one off Martin Ramos and a big, big point there for the United States. Just missing there. bench but the starters he's brought here are certainly very effective operators proven at the highest level with the possible exception of Sanchez the setter and they're really just turning up the volume here Martin Ramos seems to be involved in pretty much everything Martinez hitting as well that was his serve and there's a big block from Ramos that could force his John Sparrow no, it doesn't. It's a technical timeout. We've raced to the second technical timeout in double click time here. 16 13. Argentina. Have this first set in a very good place right now. Stuff defensively again from Argentina. Somehow scrambled over. Can't find a winner there though. Shoji was back there. And eventually ripping through there was Jeff Gendrick. Well, Argentina gave themselves a chance with the block on the pipe attack. That was that. Ramos must have thought he got a winner, but uh, Muagatutia, absolutely brilliant rescue. And then Gendrick with the put away. to do here and uh, that's enough he's taking it off Christensen Not an entirely pro promising situation here and he's hit it really well and Christensen just could not get under control so Palacios 
keeps Argentina ticking over here in this first set. Will the United States start their World Cup campaign? By dropping the opening set. Oh my goodness me, they nearly flew to ace there. They're doing really well. And then they miss Q off the back of it while they're always scrambling off the net court. John Sperrall now will call a timeout because that gap's growing pretty big. Here's Ramos, you want to see a reaction off a timeout. Shoji takes that, but an awful lot of work for Christian. The sense of the sense of the there. Oh, they're very, very lucky, the Americans. That one fell beautifully for them. Yeah, he knows it. Nice reactions, but that was a real bonus. Ah, you take the breaks when they come your way. There's enough bad breaks come at you in this sport. So, the United States do force side out. Oh, all sorts of stuff going on up the net there. Yeah, that's for all with a little side there. His guy's not quite in sync yet. this deep in the set against the United States the world number two the defending World Cup champions you have got to go on and claim it oh yeah Bruno Lima absolutely drilled that one that one certainly wasn't coming back lovely bit of setting look at that ripping it through there Secure the opening set for Argentina. Again, it's uh, Palacios who really is sending down some sizzlers at the moment. Marco Tutia, the man mishandling it. Losser saying thank you for the freebie. <laughs> And you've got to, you've got to, actually, not only that, but I'd like you to space out and do a short little approach into it so Max can get all the way to the All right, let's go, let's go. One, two, three, USA. All right, let's go. First order of business is side out. Get Palacios out of there. It's another beauty. Shoji's done really well. Bernardi's done brilliantly there as well. Both Liberos making plays here for their team. Russell can't make the play. The adjustment made brilliantly by Sanchez. Martinez rubs one off the block, and that surely raises any chance that the Americans have of getting back into this first set. Good stuff, this from Argentina. 
So Palencio stays on them. That was much better. It's Anderson pretty quiet. And the reverse set. Yeah, couldn't get blockers in bunches there, could they? Really nicely flicked back by Christensen and Anderson taking it high. Absolutely ripping it. Yeah, nothing available there for Martinez. Quality of serve again, really good. Wow, oh, here they come. Oh, it's Anderson one side, Russell the other. The two big, big best hitters really for the United States. On the outside, cranking it up. They haven't completely given up on this set then. Max Holt sends in a serve that is well taken, and that should be dealt with. Side out. Uh, the quick set's always going to be uh, the play there. to play for Russell to deal with. He'll know exactly where the uh, credit belongs on that point. And, uh, Argentina closing in on set point. And it could be coming right now. Is Matias Giraudo come in? For Lima skims the net. Look at the movement on that ball. Really important take. Yeah. It's all about the quality of the take. So uh, the uh, attempt to set up the block didn't work. Gerardo will check back out. But they still have plenty of opportunities to wrap up this opening set here. This should be uh, no bother at all for Argentina. Russell, really nice take. Oh, you're going to miss. Well, having done all the hard work with the beautiful service reception, and then getting himself lined up to swing. Ezequiel Palacios miscues, and Marcelo Mendes says, well, let's just make sure of this. Mendes has got plenty of experience 
in his squad. He's played his most experienced players in this first set, and they've been good enough to uh, take the first set off the slow starting United States. Not the start to the defense of their title that the Americans would have been looking for. the numbers then blocks and aces the story there like really couldn't deal with uh, Ezekiel Palacios and the quality of his serving and the three block points with Agustin Losser and Martin Ramos in the middle of that very much the difference maker could do better from the United States probably will do better in the next set Top scorer in that first set, the American Jeff Jendrick with five attack points. And a whole bunch of other players on four, so the load spread, spread around. Let's see how the Americans react. There'll be too many concerns down on the sideline for John Sparrow. He knows all about winning this competition. It's not a sprint, it is a marathon. He just got to grind out the results. And his team did it very, very well last year. But not the ideal start for this year. Anderson then to get this second set underway, skimming the net. So an easy put away for Lasserre. Got out of the ball, that was just set up nicely there. Sanchez able to look around and uh, rare to have that much time. Well, Martinez has hung that up in the air. Sanchez has covered a lot of ground. Well, this should be a put away here. No, it's not. Wonderful pancake there. Anderson absolutely terrific in the backcourt. And then Lima denied, but he's picked it up. Palacios. That's a really well played point by Argentina. When you consider how far back Matias Sanchez was, about five meters behind the baseline when he had the second touch. Right at the start of that rally. So to win it from there, really encouraging for Argentina. Sanchez then will sneak one over. That guy would have deserved Max Holt, the 32-year-old, off the quick set. Get it better. 
time, this fella. Still only 21, remember. Starting to really emerge as a top-level talent. Augustine Lasser. You would think he would be a central plank of Argentina's assault on a, a medal in Tokyo next year. He's come over and uh, Argentina continue just to pour it on here at the start of this second set too. Really good serve. Tough to criticize Shoji. He really couldn't do anything else there. Oh, they just try to keep it alive. Absolute sizzling serve from a man who sent a bunch of them down. Well, first order of, day, of the day for uh, United States. Get him out of there. They do not need to be seeing Palacios at the service line. That's a really nice take from Anderson. This has got to be dealt with, but it isn't. Danani's picked it up. Martinez, though, is always stretching and always second favourite there. That was uh, Micah Christensen reading and reacting. Important side out. Oh, that's good enough from Martinez. Takes a touch on the way through. Side out, Argentina. Start getting aces off Agustin Lasser as well. He might be in for a bumpy start to this World Cup. Beauty, absolute beauty. Oh, could be more trouble here for the Americans. Very calm when he's on the sideline. John Sparrow, not a scream and shouter, but he's decided something has to be done here. Which so uh, Thomas Jeshka will come in as uh, Mua Gatutia, who started off hot but then really disappeared, is replaced. Yes, <laughs> With the next skimmer, Russell picks that one up, far side. Anderson finishes the job and a much needed side out for the United States. They've got a lot of work to do to get themselves back into this second set. Having rather tamely surrendered the first. Argentina. It's not necessarily uh, agreed with by Marcelo Mendes. Martinez with a nice easy take. And the put away near side from Bruno Lima. Side out. And the first technical timeout, Argentina. Making the early running here as well. Ataca en el medio de la cancha y más para paralela cuando tiene parábola. Así que si coincide con Mati, quedémonos bien en el fondo para defenderle el ataque a él. Estamos, estamos trabajando bien, sigamos manteniendo nuestro, nuestro nivel de saque, sí. Y en el ataque cuando no viene mal, pues la volvemos. Si no, pues le damos tranquilo. Estamos. Recuerde que ellos dejan un hueco en el medio cuando el bloqueo es triple, el bloqueo es doble y la bola es alta, dejan un hueco en el medio. Pegan la bola, pero pueden tirarla ahí también. Vamos. ¿Cómo?
sign out immediately here in the United States. And they'll get it. Anderson's cross court too good. Well, service reception has to be better. They went after the new player, Thomas Jaschka. And he was absolutely nailed on with that one. So an immediate improvement there on service reception for the USA. Russell loading up. Donani taking that one off the floor and uh, Ramos finishing the job. Really good position they put themselves in here, Argentina. Martinez has a nice serve. Said that they'll say, Well, we made our own fortune with a good recovery, and it was a good recovery as they were scrambling there. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful from Christensen. And Anderson manages to find the touch. That was a desperation rescue from Christensen under real pressure. That one's gone. then with serve really went for that. I'm sure the ball toss was quite exactly how he wanted it there Martin Ramos Anderson then today in this match so far. The Los Aires has been absolutely terrific. And the net as well. Some important kills from from him. Chasing three points here, the Americans, and that chase will go on as uh, Jaschka collects nothing but nylon. Palacios, he's the danger man. Shoji got a piece of that. And the block didn't quite come off. That was close. That was close. America celebrate a big moment potentially in this second set. If Palacios had been allowed to put another couple of points on his serve, this second set might have got away from the Americans as it was. Russell gets the W over the block. Singer there from Holt. And the block in place, but we can't keep it in play. That's needed the little breaks here to go their way. The Americans. It's, uh, Martinez is a wonderfully creative player, we've already seen that. He'll take on those blockers and get his share of wins. Dosser. Really nice take from Jaschka again, and there's the put away. Well, that's again service reception, Jaschka. With another one. There it is. Easy put away from Gentry. So they're tucking in here, the United States. Can they start making a move? 
uh, the answer to that would appear to be no at the moment. Christensen with the netter. Bruno Lima's got a decent serve, and he'll be thinking he's overdue. <laughs> Second technical timeout, Martinez just misses. That's going to get looked at. Looked a good call, but like that one in the first set, that John Sperrow challenged. Close enough that there might just be something in this. It only takes the back of the ball to cover the back of the line, and it has like that. Ho, ho, ho. Wow, wow, wow. That's Argentina taking what looks like an unassailable lead into the second technical timeout now. 15-12, switches to 16-11. No tienen tanta seguridad con el punta que pusieron ahora. Lo meten mucho más a Anderson. Así que se tiene que dar una variación buena. Lo que está importante Anderson se la da para que los otros sigan pegando. Oh, ah, Martinez will look for another ace here. Won't get one there. Again, nice work from the new player, Thomas Jaschka. He took first touch, picked himself up, took a decisive third touch as well. There he is, getting that one off the floor, dropping it perfectly for Christensen, who gave him his reward. Finished the job. goes on. Ramos will now serve as well at 17-12. Uh, Not quite over the line yet, but looking in a very strong place here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. How easy was that? Anderson, though, with the misfire. Doesn't matter how good you are. Everybody makes mistakes in this game. We're going to see some more changing up here. That's goodbye to uh, Micah Christensen as uh, Joshua Tuaniga comes in. A young setter, 22 years old, looking to make a name for himself here. And I wonder if that's uh, Sterrell basically waving the white flag on this set. Nothing doing there for Losser. Sanchez will send it back up to him. And he finishes the job. Well, the second bite of Argentina's progress in this second set is just getting more and more serene. John Sparrow having 
Introduced a couple of subs. Now has to take a timeout. Great job, man. So just keep. We're gonna have to put some pressure on them in the service lines. And we're gonna take them out of that, you know. So make sure you're real good on your routine, targeting the guy we want. Make sure we're going to hit it. Be aggressive. Take some chances there. You know, we're down. We got to get them in some trouble. They're set too much quick. Okay. All right. There we go. There we go. What you think? You know what serve wasn't a real daunting one from Martin Ramos and that's where America will be really disappointed that they didn't deal with it it's another one Ramos is not the killer serve that should have happened first time Holt taking the quick set well the gap's just grown and grown and grown they were in trouble chasing four points here the United States chasing six and this late in the set that looks more or less impossible Matt Anderson will look to start the charge here. Just really high level of efficiency in this match from Argentina. Doing the simple stuff, doing it very well. Martinez again, prominent. Sanchez with serve. This is a tough win. Oh, he's got it though. Oh, a beauty from Thomas Jaschka. Dropped him just inside the baseline there. Oh, Gatutia will come back in to serve. Enforcements in his bullpen, but right now the starters that he's working with and um, young Matias Sanchez is doing a really solid job at center. They're looking very good indeed. A little bonus there for America that Palacios can't pile on any more misery from the service line. But uh, Mendez must be thinking, well, we'll never get a better opportunity of knocking off the USA in a World Cup match than we've got right here. Cruising through the first couple of sets. And they finish the job. Here in this second set. Tough to see how they can't, really. Christensen, I'm sure, will be coming back in the uh, third set. Just taking a breather here. As the United States need a reset. Because if they want to win this one, barring something amazing here, it's going to be over the course of five sets. Lasser with the netter. To Aniga then. It's nice to picked up. So is that by Shoji to deny Martinez a very chance here. Russell. The block is there, but they can't keep it alive. So America claw one of those points. <laughs> to Aniga serve Danani this time. Where's that going? Lima. shows he's got that. Got a good chance here, the United States. Russell makes sure. That's two points. Suddenly, they've given themselves just a chance here in the United States. And it's a couple of really well-played points as well, more importantly, for a team that's been looking to try and find a bit of momentum. Throughout this match, for the first time, they have some. To an eager then, will stay on serve. A 
Good well taken by Palacios. Lima drills it. That's the problem the Americans have got in this second set. There's just too big a gap to claw back. Lovely cross court there. Matias Geraldo will come back in as uh, Marcelo Mendes looks to get a bit more height at the net. Let's see if he can get a block in place. Saeta come in for Russell. side out here the United States need four points on serve that is probably asking too much been a solid couple of sets though from yeah Martinez despite that miss on the serve there he nibbled the baseline last time he was up remember didn't miss the baseline by that much there so the first of four points needed. Oh, has got a tough take there and does it brilliantly. Oh, that'll do it. Don't think too many people saw this scoreline an hour ago. The defending champions, the world ranked number two, the Olympic bronze medalists, the silver medalists from this year's Volleyball Nations League, the United States trailing Argentina and have been outplayed through two sets. Well, the good news for the United States, they didn't give away any block points, but they only got one themselves. The bad news, the hitting continues to be good from Argentina. Leading the way, Jan Martinez on the outside, aided and abetted by Bruno Lima with uh, Agustin Losser wreaking havoc down the middle. So can Argentina wrap this up in three? Or does the big American fight back start right here?
Got to be better from the USA. Twice they've given away an early lead and have never threatened to pull it back. And it's the toughest possible start for them because it's Ezekiel Palacios who is going to open up serve in this third set. Palacios with a couple of early aces and the quality of his serving has always had the Americans in trouble when he's been able to get it in play because when Palacios is serving it's such a high risk serve you will get long and you'll certainly get net serves from him well, let's see if he can put Argentina in a strong position here there's one of the long ones they'll be very happy about that the Americans it is all or nothing with his serves with serve slammed away immediately by uh, young Agustin Lusser. well Lusser isn't missing much today he and Martinez in double digit scoring through the first two sets Someone else who's not missing there is Matt Anderson. A little bit more edge early here in this second set from the USA. A little bit more authority in these uh, early swings from them. Russell serving Danani. Oh, the push, that's not going to work. They're in trouble here. Well, Russell can't find a winner there. Sanchez is there. Lima with one of his cross courts. No, picked off by Russell. It should be the finish. Nothing doing there. And now the Americans can get reset. Driving in is Aaron Russell. And the Americans have a lead and they look totally different here. Looks like the comeback starts right now. Much more sharpness about them. This is what we expected at the start of the match. And now Martinez gets blocked out. They've kept it alive. Oh, that fell beautifully. Martin Ramos able to put that away. They're lucky though. They're very lucky, Argentina. That was one of those points that can go against you. That's brilliant. Nothing lucky about that. Absolutely brilliant work there from Sanchez on the reflex dig. They certainly made something good out of it, but they rode their luck there. Lima goes for another one of his big ones. Service reception so much better. So much better since Jace has come in. Martinez has been hitting a lot of those. And a point on serve for Argentina. Levels this one up. Yeah, Martinez is not the tallest, but he manages to get that ability to hang in the air for that split second. Time after time, he's just able to run one off the block. So Lima will stand. Oh, my goodness, that was a good one. Shoji doing well. And then Lima gets blocked out of it. Gendring far side says, no, no, no. That's ours. Oh, USA needed this off the reverse set. Lima thought he had himself a nice cross-court winner. Jeff Gendring said, I got myself a block point. Anderson. Serving Martinez, nice quick take once again, Martinez Ramos. Well, Agustin Lacerre has been uh, grabbing the, the headlines with those takes inside, but Ramos has certainly taken care of opportunities when they've come his way. So we stay level here now in this third set. Martinez, who always seems to be looking for that baseline. Won't find it there, though. Yeah. Thanks, 
Ball taking it high once again. Fascinating these battles inside. States in this third set. But who are these guys? Unrecognizable from those first two sets. back looks like they got their World Cup legs under them now doesn't it Anderson has oh, got that one a much needed side out for Argentina who are chasing this one now though they've looked good as front runners let's see what they're like chasing the set Side out. Argentina just got to make sure this gap doesn't grow. Because there is plenty of time to pick off a point here, a point there. But when you're chasing three, you must side out. Sanchez with a pretty soft one. Ooh, and it's come back. What can Russell do? Just hoist one up here for Anderson. Danani was there perfectly. Argentina with a chance here. Palacios can't take it. And Jaiska can. Oh, Thomas Jaiska with a big point. Whoa. A smile from the coach. And they were defending this, defending this, defending it really well.
So the side out bit's been achieved. Courtesy of the net serve. And here's Palacios. Oh, and he's missed again, not by much. They're pretty happy about that on the other side of the net, I can tell you. Take from Shoji. This should be the easy put away. That is. Well, when you're the team with the lead, you'll happily play the side out game. for the United States here. Marcelo Mendes says, well, I've seen enough. And this is where it gets interesting for Mendes. We saw how John Sparrow was able to change things up with a couple of substitutions. What would Marcelo Mendes change? Timeout. Big, big take on serve here. That was the key. And then Ramos climbing high. Well, a double sub for Argentina. Henman Johansson coming in as well. And uh, we've seen Matias Giraldo come in to provide a bit of height at the net unsuccessfully now the backup setter and shows what he can do on serve oh it's tough just to walk in off the bench and serve something special well it's Mendes making the changes now let's see if his team are able to react just but only just is good enough for a guy who's been uh, showing a very very high level of accuracy another kill for martinez right on that baseline so the gap doesn't grow that's the good news but at no point of argentina threatening to close this gap in this third set can martinez go for something here again really good take backside anderson drills it more methodical look about the United States service reception so much better siding out yeah, blocks in place as well oh, where's that gonna go? that's really nicely played they adjusted well there and Palacios able to push it into midcourt where nobody was home Done a bit of setting in his day, Jan Martinez. You can see that from that play. Well, he didn't have anything else on there. Palacios. 
could have been a disaster there for Argentina, as it is. The chase goes on, and if they keep netting, they're going to have no chance of clawing back this gap. The Americans comfortable here in this third set. He'll be a lot happier to get this first set under his belt. John Sparrow. Here's Johansson. <laughs> and they're just not serving well at all now, Argentina. Making this extremely easy. Oh, there's a cheap one. <laughs> Max Holt doesn't look too pleased, but you can't argue. Probably not very pleased with himself. Lima. And uh, Johansson's back on the bench too. The uh, new servers haven't worked out at all for Argentina. There's a block there and some more footwork attempted by Sanchez, but the Americans have got the measure of this at last now. Can they? Argentina. Oh! And of course, the Americans can roll the dice a bit with their serving when you've got a lead like this. Argentina who need to find something. There's been no sign of anything there. So has been really poor in this third set. That was a better one and still it came back. Big take this. Really nice from Jaishka. What a difference he's been in that backcourt.
points on serve coming from. Not a sign of anything from Argentina in this third set. They fell behind early and they've stayed there. As the United States have happily played side out. Martinez will always look for that baseline. Now they picked him off nicely. There you go. Another confident take and their service reception has been hugely improved. Whilst Argentina haven't been serving very particularly well, it is worth saying when they do serve well, the Americans have picked up everything. himself in the books there that's a nice confident hit from Luciano Polonski he has just scored his first World Cup point lovely confident swing as well and if you're getting the better of Shoji in the backcourt you're doing a lot right yeah he's earned the right to have a smile now can he keep his place on the court here as we get ready for the inevitability of a fourth set to the inevitability of set point unless the challenge is good. But this had four sets written all over it from the first half a dozen points of this set. Marcelo Mendez's squad have never managed to get close. No, they didn't get close with that challenge either. tandem these two but that is all Lima's work but they're not getting five points on serve Argentina 
Oh, we were happy to get one more. That's a... Nice dig from Young Polonsky. There's a block there, but it goes out, and the Americans secure an effortless 25-19 set. And everybody's wondering why the Americans didn't bother showing up until the third set. They're right in it now, though. Here's the numbers then. And, uh, interesting that the aces and the blocks have been dropping. That block for Argentina came right at the end of the set when it didn't matter. And if uh, the Americans can continue just to contain the points they allow on block and serve, they should go on and uh, complete the comeback here, having made it very difficult for themselves by dropping the first two sets. Once they fell behind, the concern for Argentina is they never, ever look close to clawing it back. Set four, getting underway then. Let's see if the Americans can continue this comeback. Russell with serve. And Losset putting the first point on the board for Argentina. some problems they've just got to push it over and hope for the best here United States uh, the best is not good enough Bruno Lima with a killer and Argentina off to a fast one here
Jeff Gendrick. They'd already fallen behind early, that's for sure. Luciano Polonski comes out on top of that duel. It's all about grabbing the spotlight, isn't it, when you're given an opportunity? And there's an almost block point for Argentina. A little bit scruffy there. Very happy that that has dropped the right side of the line from the American perspective. But uh, young Luciano Polonski with a chance to strut his stuff on the world stage here for Argentina. Looks like he's very much at home. Running with the big dogs. And here's Matt Anderson, one of the biggest of those big dogs, looking to show his teeth here. Serving the youngster. And they'll contain this, the Americans. And they'll get themselves right back on track here. Jaszka. Again. Sense of the balance of power shifting. Anderson finding the baseline beautifully. Can't play it much better than that. serve the Americans. Why wouldn't you? Target the young kid playing at the high level. See if you can find a weakness. Losser, who himself was getting targeted a lot a year ago. The overpass gives Argentina a huge chance, and it's one that they take. Well, this is all about service reception from the Americans. Gifted it. To Argentina and Martin Ramos is the type who will uh, gobble those up all day long. And that's coming back as well. Now then, oh, the Americans in a bit of trouble here. Well, two freebies here for Martin Ramos. No surprise that John Sparrow has called a halt to this. That's back to back. Errors on service reception. That can't be allowed to continue. They're coming across in deep. Area six is stepping right in deep. And we got to come out to one foot. Right there, your knee went down right there. Ron, you're on both your knees. Like, you got to be loose and you got to play, but you got to be here and we got to get a dig. We got to be fundamental defensively in the back court. All right, here we go. Make some moves. That was 
a beauty. Hit very well today, Bruno Lima. One of the guys that uh, Marcelo Mendes will be depending on. Now, can he get a pace out of him? No, he can't. Clever. Really sneaky from Russell. Not a much needed side out for the Americans we've seen. So far in this match, every team that takes a lead into the technical timeouts has held that lead. So the Americans can't let this gap grow any wider. Just a point, so absolutely nothing to worry about. Oh, that's a tough take for Lima. Yeah, not going to get a winner from there. USA can level it up right here with Russell. No, they can't. That might have been Yang Martinez with the block there. Ramos was right alongside him either way. It's Argentina taking a very slender lead into this third technical time, as first technical time out of this fourth set. Well, that block point for Jan Martinez takes him to the top of the pile of the individual point scorers. There's a whole gaggle of players between Martinez's 14 and uh, Lima, Anderson, Jendrick all on 11. Ramos is 13, Russell Losser 12. Indication of the balance that we're seeing in this match. No one player is uh, going to dominate. Now, Argentina looking to push on here. Have a Martinez serve. Uh, hung up there by Russell. We'll get third touch as well. Now, Donani's done just enough to keep that alive, but nothing there except a push for Lima. So Russell should finish this off. He can't. And that's the youngster drilling one. Luciano Polonski. Well, this is a real bonus for Marcelo Mendes. You can bring a 20-year-old off the bench to operate at this level and look like they belong. That is a huge bonus. Pressure swing there. Polonski has handled that pressure really well. Another point on serve for Argentina. Martinez serves Russell again. The block's there. Wow, this is an interesting move here that Argentina are making. Well, well, well. Now then, yeah, you bet timeout's getting called. Ramos wiping that one out. Now suddenly, this isn't looking too clever for the Americans. Well, when you're chasing one point on serve, that's just no big deal. Now, they're chasing three here. Still time to uh, turn this around, but we haven't seen through the previous three sets, either of these sides, when they've been chasing, they've never been able to get close. In the first order of business, get Jan Martinez off there. Tough server. It's another good serve, that's over on second touch. Oh no, he made a mistake there. Uh, paid the price. Error of judgment from Matias Sanchez, trying to be tricky with second touch. And they read it. They being Jeff Jendrick. That could be a very significant moment, not only in this set, but also in this match if the Americans are to be able to come back from here, needing three points to level it up. Not getting one there. Christensen really went after that one. Now, Martin Ramos up next is not one of the devastating servers for Argentina. Nice and safe and steady. That had to be side out. Had to be side out for the United States, and it is. If you're 
are dropping points on the Ramos serve, you really are in trouble. Well, just like America in the last set, Argentina will happily play side out here. They're the ones leading. They don't need to do anything. Russell. Oh, he's got a bit overexcited there. Polonsky. There's one of those points back. That'll settle the Americans down again. No doubt they will still go after young Luciano Polonsky on the other side. Especially after that big miss from him. Actually went after Martinez. Polonsky, nothing doing there, but that's going to go. Matias Sanchez will serve. Russell was there, couldn't keep it in play. Oh, well, again, that was one of those serves that was just begging to be smashed back. Let's see already, so clearly, if the safe conservative serves come in at this level, they get dispatched with utter contempt. Well, that's two of uh, Argentina's safer servers have gone through the rotation and still the Americans are chasing Jendrick serves can they get a point back here Lima is denied but they'll get a second go at it Lima will go again nice take there from Jeshka who can swing through this no he can't he just has to go for the dink backside to the youngster who rubs one off the block Yepolonski back in business that's what you need when you made a mistake. Let's get back to doing it. So Polonsky sending that one down the line and we'll now go to the service line. Oh, and a foot falls, a big one. Oh dear, oh dear. Sends in a zinger. Very nice take. Well, the put away was nice, obviously, but that was all about Santiago Danani. Got under this one beautifully. That's a tough take. That's a really tough take. Nothing wrong with the uh, winner from Los Air, of course, but that was all about Santiago Danani. Now, the important side out Argentina. Well, it would really open this competition up if the uh, United States would uh, start with a loss. It would send uh, a few ripples around the place. A long way from that scenario unfolding yet, but nevertheless. They're in a bit of a fight here. And we're seeing more and more and more of Anderson and Russell. Take it nice as well. That's trouble. Now, can Shoji get it in play? He can, but Argentina should bury this. Well, that's all you got to do. Just keep the point alive and hope for an error. But, uh, that was never happening. Not on that point. Argentina still with this slender lead. Ah! Oh, a nice take on serve. Almost though gets blocked. 
Martinez is denied as well. They'll get a chance here and hit the Americans. Brilliantly taken by Russell and they've closed it down even more. Good fight back this from the United States. Two of those three points needed, already secured. And we're not even at the second technical timeout. Did it just get the back of the baseline? Any part of the circumference of the ball covers any part of the line, it will be ruled in. We saw that earlier with the Martinez serve. They clearly feel this has got something, but it didn't. It's a lot closer than it looked in real time, to be fair. So now we can go to the tech and technical timeout. Argentina feeling the pressure now. <laughs> para arriba, si no viene que la bola, con la estirá y la jugás en el medio de la cancha. No dejemos, no dejemos el medio, estemos preparados en la falla. Ahora necesitamos que aceleres el último paso y le des a la bola. Aceleres el último paso y le des a la bola, que corte la bola rápido. No esperes un tiempo para atacar. Cortá la bola rápido cuando te levanta más. Vamos, ahí, vamos, 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 USA's big stars, the Christiansons, the Russells, the Andersons. Take this into a fifth set. Side out, needed against the Martinez serve. Russell handles that. Russell finishes the job. There is side out secured. They can level on the next point. Textbook service reception here, even though there was a bit of work at the net. But uh, no huge deflection on that ball. Easy take, easy put away. For Aaron Russell. <laughs> Luciana Polonski maintains Argentina's lead. Got another one on one isolation here with Anderson. A little bit late getting over there. Ramos serving. Uh, the Ramos serve isn't going to bother anybody. Take from Martinez. Oh, hello. Did that take a touch? It did. It did. Well, but he has been hitting so well. It almost looked like he made a mess of that. Oh, no. He got something, didn't he? Nervy times in this fourth set. Oh, that took a touch as well. That's the weak part of the Argentina serving game. Gone through. And we're seeing another switch up here with uh, Jendrick checking out for Saita. Who will be brought in to serve again. side of things and yet another really nice take so that one didn't work out they'll revert back to their base USA Jendrick back in and, uh, 
clawing their way to the uh, finish line here, Argentina. It's a very nervy side out battle now. Polonsky not missing by much, but that would be another foolhardy challenge, and I don't think Marcelo Mendes has even thought for a moment of challenging that. So still the USA tucked in right where they want to be. When are they going to make their move? Can they make their move? Oh, 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 oh. Better to be lucky than good, eh? That was very lucky from Matt Anderson. Just like that. What was a three-point deficit has gone. Marcelo Mendes calls timeout. This fourth set now hangs in the balance. Test of nerve now. Who would your money be on? The multiple medalists from the United States, the defending champions. That'd be the smart money, wouldn't it? Can Argentina still upset the odds here? <laughs> Much needed side out. Sad with another one. Boy, he's been solid today for Argentina. Really solid. Five points from a tiebreaker, five points from an Argentina victory. Which way is this one going to go? All right, that's a miss. Oh no, it's taking a touch. Called out on the floor, but a blocked touch called in the chair. Now, for the Americans to react like that, that will tell you there is no touch. And this one is going to go to the United States because you don't challenge it when you know you've been touched. That's basic. So this is going to put the Americans in a very strong position. Now they're forcing Argentina to match them instead of doing the chasing. Now Argentina are chasing.
it's side out. But Thomas Jejka, with that ace earlier, had done the damage. The United States having been chasing at one point, needing three points on serve. Side out from here. Again, they go for the height, bringing Gerardo in for Sanchez at the net. Then will now serve, looking to take the United States to set point. There it is, just like that. Jendrick says, uh -uh. Well, that's going to be challenged. I think Argentina are looking at this net touch. A desperation challenge, you would think. You see the net move, you hope. The opponent touched it. Not sure he genuinely believes it, but when you've got a challenge, and there's just a slight glimmer of hope, you might as well throw that challenge down there, see what happens. Anything there? No. It is indeed set point. Holt then looking to take us into the tiebreaker. There was an air of inevitability about it, wasn't there? They just couldn't hold on, could they? Argentina. They've taken it to five, and that's possibly all they're going to get out of this. The Americans looking rampant now. Set four by the numbers then. A couple of blocks for Argentina, but again, the aces have dried up. Three for the United States. Despite uh, losing the battle of the attack hit points, the Americans really gritting their teeth and toughed that one out when it got serious. Well, the tiebreaker is not a race to 25, it's a sprint to 15. You still must win by two clear points, but if you fall behind early, you've got no margin for error. And the way momentum has changed, the overwhelming favourites to secure their come from behind victory will be the United States. Slow starters, well, they found their groove now.
Well, so much in any sport at this level is psychological. Marcelo Mendes, I'm sure, must be telling his players if you've been offered a chance of going into a tiebreaker against the United States before the match, would you have taken it? And they'd have said yes. Well, that's what they got. Now they've just got to grab that opportunity. What they cannot afford to do is fall behind early. Russell's opening serve of this tiebreaker is just long. And the bad news for Argentina. We've still got a couple of relatively weak servers on there, and here's one of them, Sanchez. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, what happened there? Thomas Jaschka with as easy a put away in a deciding set as you will find. And he has made an awful mess of it. That's a huge surprise. He's been so solid since coming on. So they get a point on the set of serve. And that's not great from Jaschka either. He's got some repairs to do here. Argentina looking to pounce. That block is huge. Jaschka needed that. USA needed that. That was a chance for a 3-0 Argentina lead here. One on one, Lima against Jaschka. And the American atones for the earlier miss. And that will settle them right back down again. Holt with serve. Lima has gone the other side and been wiped out. Jendrick, far side. Well, not his day here, is it? Bruno Lima, twice he swung, twice he's been stuffed. So much for the early lead. Say goodbye to that. Holt serves Donati. Nice take there from uh, Sanchez. Really nice take, and uh, that'll settle Bruno Lima right back down as well. You always want to see a player, and most players at this level will do this. Something bad happens, next time you get a chance, make something good happen. Jaschka did it, now Lima's done it. Argentina. Palacios. Got to get hold of that, now then. What can they do here? Lima's blocked out again. Jamin, wasn't it? Jendrick and Jaschka over there. Between them, there was nowhere for Lima to go. Jaschka again. Not surprisingly, Bruno Lima is withdrawn. Polonski comes back in when a player has been blocked three times in almost as many points. You've got to play fair by them. Get them out of there, let them recharge. Marcelo Mendes has done exactly that. Nice take from Palacios. Martinez drills the cross court straight at Russell. Side out. This set very much up for grabs. Remember, just a 15, but you still have to win by two clear points. Argentina taking the first two sets. The United States recovering to take the next two coming from a long way back in that fourth set to do it. But who can seal the deal? There's an ace! That's a big moment. Agustin Losser continues with his all-round assault here. Look, the movement on that. That was swirling around all over the place. Timeout is called off the back of that. Hey, we're gonna have some opportunities here to scheme a little bit. We haven't had that much, right? So let's scheme a little bit. Make sure we get Eric over to area one. We have opportunities. Let's see if we can come up with another day. Ryan, keep your hands out. A little two hands here. Yeah, yeah. Well, the second ace of the match from Agustin Lasset also makes him the match's top scorer as well. In a very, very congested leaderboard, it has to be said, but 17 points. Argentina with a lead to defend. And if Losser can find a couple more serves like that. 
That's a much better take. Really good take. Jaska. That's coming back on first touch. So they'll have a chance to reset, which they do. And with authority, Jendrick. Well, it's uh, switched around. It was Anderson and Russell carrying the load earlier. Here in this tiebreaker, it's the J men, isn't it? Jaska and Jendrick. If one of the J men doesn't get you, the other one will. USA looking to level it up. Every serve huge now. Martinez handles that. Early take from Martin Ramos. Pretty much impossible to defend. Well, surely they can't get away with any more stuff blocks against them, Argentina. is frustrated he was a couple of millimeters away from getting a dig on this it's Jendrick celebrating it's the USA pushing well they've tried this a couple of times with no result what does the introduction of Sata do here Decider. Nowhere to go except down. Max Holt with the wipeout. So we're back level again. Oh, Martinez. She just got away with one there. Not sure that was going to drop in. Saita wasn't sure, so had to play it. If you don't know, you got to play it. Now here's a danger moment for the Americans. Side out needed here on the Martinez serve. Nice take, really nice take. Russell, the blocks there, but uh, they're asking for a, a lift there, and they're not getting it. So play goes on. The pancake, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Whoa, that is all about Matt Anderson in the backcourt. Wowie, that could be a match saver. Russell with the winning swing, but that was all Matt Anderson and the pancake. Keep this one level. It's Christensen looking up. So now he's picked that up. Ramos Scruffy didn't really get a play on that. Russell will get a play and then he gets blocked. Is that Palacios? Was it Ramos? Do they care? You bet they don't. As long as somebody's there, that's all that matters. And somebody was there. Palacios with a big one. This nervy duel goes on. both of them Ramos out Herman Johansson into pinch hit for Argentina midway through a tiebreaker in a World Cup the first World Cup match for these two nations can't afford to start with a with a loss that didn't work then Russell 
sends one in to take it off the floor. But Palacios who finishes the job as well, that's a big one. There is absolutely no room for mistakes now at all. Really important pick up there and beautifully executed as well. Well, the Americans have to match that, and they can't. There's a block point. Argentina put themselves back in control of this. Well, they've been living by the block in this decider for the United States. Could they yet die by the block? What about this? Well, there is no block after all that. It's all net. Just a mistake. And that's an ace! Sanchez surely got to challenge that unless they've seen it so clearly and seen it's landed on the line which it did and they're not going to challenge it well a miss from the Americans an ace from Sanchez of all people uh -oh. all right Well, you heard John Sparrow there say it doesn't take much. And what the United States have to do is side out right now. And then they've got to find two points on serve very quickly because Argentina four points away from the magic number here. So the sneaky server stays on. Now that might just get picked up. They'll keep it alive. Martinez decided to go for power. America should win through here, and they do. Tight angle taken there by Jaschka, but he's nailed it to perfection. If that had missed, this match was over. Now, two points needed. Can they find one on the Holt serve? who started this match with a bang with a couple of big serves is finishing it strongly as well with a couple of important swings Argentina reduced their magic number to three three more points they're over the line and how Palacios would love to find another ace serve right here this must be side out for the USA that is Chances the United States got to get a point here. You feel it? Anderson serves. Really nice take. Oh, what an important put away as well. They're just not going to be denied, are they? Service reception, absolutely superb there from Palacios. Brilliant stuff from him. And Losera, who's had a wonderful match, finds another winner to take Argentina to within two. Here is Losera now. Serving and went for the big one. Well, you can when you're protecting the lead. Virtually at the point of no return here, United States. Jaska's serve is nicely picked up. Martinez, though, can't find a winner. Oh, that's coming back over. That is a moment that might just cost the Americans this match. Martin Ramos has guided this Argentina squad that looked like they'd blown it to match point. In comes Hiraudo as they look to block their way to victory right here.
There's young Luciano Polonski serving for the match. What a moment for him. Yet another netter. There have been too many of those for Argentina, but you know what? If they get the win here, they won't care. And they are on the brink. We are poised for a huge shock right at the start of this World Cup. The defending champions. Match point down. And it's not the toughest of serves either. The take is there, that'll do it. And how fitting that it was their captain, Martin Ramos, with the final touch. That's a big, big upset right at the start of this World Cup. The 2019 FIVB World Cup catches fire immediately here with a big shot. The defending champions, the world number two, the United States, knocked off in five by Argentina. Absolutely stunned on the American side. Slow starters, yes, but once they got into the into a groove, you just thought they'd pull away. They blocked so well early in this tiebreaker as well. Marcelo Mendes made a smart move, just getting Bruno Lima out of the firing line when he'd been blocked three times. And his confidence in young Luciano Polonski wasn't out of place either. That's a huge win for Argentina. Anytime you're beating one of the superpowers of men's volleyball, you've got to feel good about it. That's the kind of performance that could see Argentina dreaming of a podium finish themselves here. Early days yet. But that was a tough start. And they've come up with a way to knock off the United States, who have to regroup quickly. The first victory photograph in uh, Fukuoka, and it's Argentina's. the numbers then all those early blocks for the United States you think you're getting four block points in a tiebreaker you're gonna go on and win but they couldn't Argentina kept hitting through hitting through finding ways to get through and it was Martin Ramos with the final touch his 20th point of the match a match leading 20th point was also a match winner I'm here with Mr. Han Martinez, number three from Team Argentina. First of all, congratulations on your win. Thank you, thank you. So today was an opening match. How important was it for your team to win against Team USA? USA is a great team. Uh, we, we know that. And I think that we play very well volleyball and get the win. Thank you. Um, also, uh, so today is the opening match, of course, and uh, now you got a match against Tunisia tomorrow. Do you think uh, because you won the match today, your confidence is built up for tomorrow's match? Yeah, sure, but we, we have to, to have the head in tomorrow in Tunisia. We, we know that all matches are very strong, have a strong players and nothing. We, we have to, to keep the head tomorrow. Uh, going back to the match again, what do you think worked well today to win against America? I think we served very well first two sets. Uh, we uh, a little bit wrong in third and four, but we get well attacks and and serves in the five game, and we that was good to to win. Well, uh, as a man who was watching it, it was a wonderful full set match to watch. So thank you very much, and uh, good luck on the next match. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Jan Martinez playing his part with 16 points today in this big, big win. The overall numbers, 70 to 59 attack points for Argentina. The blocks balanced out in the end. And the early aces came in from Argentina. That settled down as well. But uh, 
And Argentina just kept finding ways to find winners, and it was the two big middlemen, Ramos and Losser, with 38 points between them. Martinez, a very important 16 points chipping in. That helped to get Argentina over the line. Wow, what a start. That's our first match in Fukuoka. There won't be many better.